Hey, what's going on? So we got some interesting things to talk about here today. We have some new polling info and also the NDP is um, the one thing I got to give them credit, you know, for one thing, for as bad as they really are, they do have a great sense of humor. So what they posted here on X, I'm going to try to read this without laughing, but give it a shot here. So it says Jugmeet Singh and the NDP have the momentum and we're not slowing down together with our movement full of workers, students, retirees, and families, we will deliver relief to Canadians. And they posted this, NDP is growing faster than any other party. New poll shows that the NDP has gained more support than both the Liberals and Conservatives since mid-August, plus 4.5%. Hmm. So, Polling Canada posted, um, no, Nano's poll has them at 22 points. Abacus 18, Ipsos 16, and Ledger, or Legger, however you say it, is 15 points. Now, the other thing I also noticed when they showed the poll, or when they showed this post, they did not show which poll they're referring to, of course. You know why? Because that poll doesn't exist. This is just pure pandering. This is pure, it's just a pure lie. Now, Ledger recently put out a poll on September 8th showing how many seats each party is going to get. See this number here? That's 18 seats. He's currently at 25. So they've gained 4.5 points that they won't show proof of, but they're going to lose seven seats? Sounds to me like they're just lying, just like Jugmeet Singh lied when he tore up his agreement with Justin Trudeau and then voted to keep his ass in power earlier this week. Well, I ripped up the agreement. I don't support Justin Trudeau. So then why did you vote to support him? Well, because I'm not going to help Pierre Polyev. You have said, Jugmeet, specifically, that it is now between the NDP and the Conservatives and the Liberals are done. Okay? So if that's really what you think. Let's have an election. Nope. Won't do it. But he's torn up his agreement and is done with Justin Trudeau while still continuing to prop him up. I mean, this guy just continues to embarrass himself. And and again, look at the conservatives here. 243 seats. Now, that doesn't mean that's going to happen. You know, like things can change. Of course, there still might be about a year before the election. That being said, it's only going to get worse for the liberals and the NDP. Jugmeet, you know, confronting people on the street. Uh, he was in the question period, I think it was either today or yesterday, where they were talking about the NDP and how laughable they are. And Jugmeet saying, I think he, what he, he said, he's like, come at me, bro, or something like that to Pierre Polyev. And the whole conservative caucus started laughing to his face. Like, like this guy's a tough guy all of a sudden now. Like, he's just, he wants to, like, be really confrontational. Like, like what's the plan here? A week or so ago, he makes this video, which was just a publicity stunt, saying that he's ripped up an agreement because he was clearly still propping up Justin Trudeau. Then he votes with a non or against the non-confidence, and now he's confronting people, getting in their face, and he's getting less and less popular because he's a clown. Again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. The NDP has the same problem that the Green Party and the PPC Party have. Their, we- their leader is extremely weak, laughable clowns. That's why that party isn't being uh, supported. The NDP is not what they're supposed to be for the middle class. They're supposed to be for the people who are unhappy with the liberals and the conservatives. And all they've done is they've just teamed up with the liberals and kept them in power so that Jugmeet Singh could get his pension. Does that sound like a party that's for the people? Sounds like a, a party that's for the pension. Sounds pretty greedy to me, and that's, again, that's why you never trust a socialist, especially one who wears a gold watch. Think about that for a second. If he were to get in power and start taxing people 80%, he'd have a 1,000 gold watches and a nice Mercedes, and people would starve. 25% of people have to go to food banks right now. He gets in power, that number would increase to probably about 30, 40, maybe even higher. So be aware. The NDP, they need a new leader. The Greens, the PPC, they all need new leaders. And if they're not going to get one, those parties should all sink to the fucking ground where they belong. Right with the Liberals. and I mean, the Bloc's probably going to come in second place. Which, I mean, I don't like the Bloc, obviously, because now they're trying to basically hold up an election too, just selfishly for that one province that shouldn't even have a federal party. 
but I guess they're special in more ways than one and they get a federal party. It'll be funny to see the blocks in second place, not because they're good, but just because it, to see Trudeau and Singh just fall to third and fourth place, it's going to be so funny. And I can't wait until Canadians kick their asses out of parliament. All those people in the liberal caucus who just continuously bobble their head for Justin Trudeau and prop him up too, most of them are losing their jobs. They're going to lose around 120 to 125 seats, and it's going to be beautiful to see. And that being said, the one thing these polls can kind of do when you see such a majority for Pierre Polyev is some people might get complacent. Oh, I don't need to vote. Pierre Polyev's going to win. We can't think that way. You must go out and vote for Pierre Polyev, not only to get Trudeau out, not only to get Pierre Polyev a majority, but to send a message, a message that they need to hear. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help this uh, channel grow. And also, please don't forget to leave your comments as I do enjoy engaging with you guys as well. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, hope you have a great day and I'll be back shortly with a new